59 kilo national champion, Waskar Carpio, and his coach, Steve Denovi. Welcome. Do you have any opening statement that you'd like to give as summarizing your performance? Uh, no, but, you know, we did it. We, we had a goal in mind uh, to hit that Carpino one, and we executed. Um, and that's, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say it. I've coached a lot of people. I don't know if I've ever coached someone that has put in what he has done to get to this point. Um, the amount he's had to do diet-wise, training-wise, sacrifices with family time, all the stuff, I don't think I've had anyone else who sacrificed as much as he has to do this. And I almost was getting emotional when I was when he hit that because I wanted it so bad for him. I'm so excited that he's going to fulfill that dream and get to be there in Malta. Yes. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about um, what went into this prep. So, I mean, it was by far one, the best prep that I've had, but it's one of the longest because uh, as soon as I finished my last nationals, I right away contacted Steve and he took me on as an athlete. So we started prepping for this meet uh, about eight months ago and the grind started. So, um, you know, it's a long prep and long sessions and the sacrifices that I had to make was, you know, I, I, I work a full-time job, so going from work to the long gym sessions, um, not being able to see my son that day or, 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 or my wife, so I knew coming into today, um, I had to execute. I, I wanted to leave it all out there to make sure that I left no kilos out or I didn't regret not doing something or attempting anything um, because of everything that went that went into this prep. I wanted to make sure that when I left that platform, I did everything in my power um, to, to attempt to make that world team, and we executed, so. As well as power lifters, we like to eat. That's yes. Kind of the, <laughs> that's kind of the cool part about power lifting. You yeah. don't have to be like a bodybuilder. This dude's been dieting for six months. <laughs> uh, I don't think most people know, his last meet, he cut the week up from 146 to 132, and when he started with me, the day the first call, I said, dude, we're not doing that. Yeah. There's no way you're going to the world and traveling overseas and going to do that and be successful. You've got to be within five pounds in the weight class, and he weighed 134 this week before we cut. And Correct. shows on the platform. Yes. So yes. six months of no cheats. <laughs> <laughs> every single day on top of his macros. I mean, it, it's, it was, it was, he took everything. Yes. Um, first of all, I just want to say congratulations to both of you. Thank you. On, on the victory today. Uh, if I'm doing the math correctly, you won by a significant margin. Like yeah. Six kilos. Right. I believe. Um, was the mindset going in that you were actually competing against these other competitors or was it more about, Hey, I'm just trying to lock, I, you know, I think I'm stronger and I just want to lock in this total. Uh, absolutely. That, that, that was the goal. We knew going into it that, uh, the, the most, um, challenging part will be the Carpino. Um, we knew we were, you know, uh, ahead of the competition. Um, so we wanted to make sure that, that we, we secured it, um, first and foremost. Um, so that was the goal to, uh, secure the Carpino by the second deadlift and then have fun on the third. <laughs> And just a follow-up question, how close do you think you were on the third deadlift? Because I know, like you said, I mean, strategically you locked in the Carpino with the second. Correct, right mm -hmm. yeah. And then with the third one, how close do you think you were? I, you know, it's going to help me until I get it on the platform because um, it was it, w it was right there. Uh, we, I'm going to watch the video back, and I'm sure Steve will do too, so we can learn from that specific pool. Um, so to make sure that it doesn't happen again, what what happened, we believe it was a – possibly lost a position in or, or bad start position um so that will haunt me uh, but but next time i attempt it believe is going to go up i told him the perfect day wouldn't have given him any motivation from alta like yeah. you need you need something to to spark it and if, if you didn't know uh that was to beat charlie yang's current best american total at 59 he had 622.5 and we loaded that up since we had the carpino already hit we had the mm -hmm. world team spot we wanted to go 623 and see if we can get that correct so we'll get yeah. that next time yes we will <laughs> Anyone else have any questions? Okay, I'll ask the last one. Is just what's next for you, Oscar? You know, I uh, I want to spend a lot of time with my son um, here. I know this this next time, Steve is not going to take it easy on me, and I'm expecting that. I, I I want him to to push me to to the breaking point and and pull me back because um, I know that attempting what I want to do, which is becoming a world champion, um, representing Team USA. It's something that I've dreamt about since joining this this sport. And uh, it's something that I'm going to I'm going to bust my butt and uh, I will become a world champion when it's when it's due. All right. And uh, tonight you're going to go eat some food? Yes, I will. Oh, we already got a taco <laughs> truck pulled up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for coming.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.